everybody, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. Last time, we had to make our way to Lake Hylia. This time, I forgot to do stuff. And, if you'll listen carefully, we have game audio. Let's see if we can fuse with Old Smith. We can. That sucks. That uh, probably went on the last video. I probably just forgot. Oh, gosh. Oh, well. Yeah. Let's grab this for 200 mysterious shells. Which I've learned in my studies of Wind Waker lore. I need a lot of figurines. I mean, a lot of figurines. And we can get actually a big wallet here. Because I forgot to do this, and this is really important. Trust me, get a big wallet. It'll help. Because, if I remember the pricing right, this is White Picolite. Let's just find Kinstone Pieces Easy. 200 rupees. This is your best friend. It doesn't last very long, but there's enough big grass patches outside all around that you can actually just run around and get a dozen Kinstone Pieces and late game money is not an issue. Wonder if we can fuse a melon. We cannot. But thankfully, I remembered something else we can do. We should head to the Swift Blade School of Swordsmanship. Right here. It's really anticlimactic. A new sword! Fantastic, and you seem to have acquired new skills with it. Yes, I'm ready to train you again, young swordsman. So, will you accept this new training? Yes. I will now teach you a technique called the Rock Breaker. First, swing your sword to break pots. Actually, that's all there is to it. Ah, uh, yes, good. If you had said you didn't understand, I would have serious doubts about you. Feel the technique. Possession! Uh, possession! Oh! That's like right out of a DBZ thing. Try it yourself. Break pots. Like that. And now we got a tiger scroll. And that's all we can do right now. Because if we talk to him again, when you run, learn to run like the wind. Which, if we're going to get Pegasus shoes, kind of obvious what we can do for that. Oh, this woman. Yep. Fuse can stones. Damn it, June. Have one I have. But, thankfully, there are things we can do. If we shrink down, which that old woman clearly saw us do, but no one knows. I believe just over here is this. This little bridge into the item shop. Now, if you saw, there was a bottle back there. That bottle is, is something we can get. But unfortunately, uh, I I need it. Like, I need the bottle. But this also lets us see that there is a boomerang on the shelf that we could buy. Huh? Hey, God, I knew there was someone here. When did you find your way back here? This area is for employees only. That is to say, me and me alone. That's good as well. I'm sorry, my good lad, but that is not for sale. It contains food for my dear little dog, Fifi. What? You just want the bottle? That's highly unusual. If you feed his dog, he will give you the bottle. And he marks the location on his map. And hey, look at that. That's where we have to go. And that is why we're back in Hyrule Town. Or Castle Town, Hyrule, whatever. We're back in town, back again, Link is back, tell a friend. And it's pretty, that's pretty much it. There are some more things we can do if we have kinstone pieces, but we don't have kinstone pieces because I am poor. Also, I didn't want to play this offline and grind for kinstone pieces right now because it is very easy to get progression and get things that are very important for the overall game. Thankfully, there is actually, as I have just remembered, one more thing I want to show off. 
If you have played the Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages and Oracle of Seasons games, these three characters look very familiar. This is Feror, Nehru, and Din. These are all direct references to the Oracles games, and that brings up something I love about Minish Cap. There are references. There are references everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. This game is littered with them. At no point do I feel that the references take away from the game. And going by that in reminded me of one more thing we can do with our cane of Pachi. If we shrink down and roll... And, oh wait, we can might be able to fuse. Yes, we can fuse with Rolf. What does this do? What a good dog. Oh, that's a chest somewhere. Minish Woods. Perfect fit. But if we go out here, we can explore this part of the town while we're small. Avoid that puddle. It does count as a body of water and will just stall you for time. Thankfully, if you go on into this flower patch, there's a pot that we can grow out of and a heart piece. And we get a new heart container. Unfortunately, we still can't really do all I want to in Castletown yet. We need pretty much every item to get every heart piece. So I'm actually just going to be motoring on with the plot uh, until I have everything. Because I don't believe anything gets locked out aside from fusing kinstones with the king. Because, well, you remember what happened last time. And there's the postman, there's a shop, there's the bakery. This town just feels so alive. It's really quite a nice thing. But enough on the town. Back to the lake, which we're at Lon Lon Ranch, which is another great place to use your white pickleite if you need kinstones. It's a fantastic place. And Melon has nothing for us. Because look at this. All this grass... Yeah, you could easily just mow that down, get a few dozen kinstones for 200 rupees. It saves on time. But if we roll all the way up here, this is the item guy's house. And we got an empty bottle. We have made a dog very happy by feeding the little fella. Little Fifi. And in that flash, ate all the food. Use kinstones, can we? No, I really need that poof. I really need that pickleite. Because kinstones really aren't that rare, but you're most likely just going to end up finding the green kinstones throughout everything. But if you remember earlier, we saw Tingle. He has four, three brothers. This is one of them. Let's fuse kinstones. David Jr. I can't fuse with him. Their names are weird. Uh, we'll find the other two. I thought I had. Sorry for that cut there. We'll find the other two Tingle brothers later on. But right now we have to go and get to the Witch Syrup's house. Which is to the south. Which means just roll on up here. Dodge these Octoroks which should pose no threat. Use your cane. Remember that this is here. Use that. Make that shortcut open. And... Ride like the wind! I believe if you head over here... There's actually just some grass. It's really kind of pointless. But we can see that there's another Tingle Brother. And that's about it. You, now, now it's time to ride the wind all the way over here. Do that. Roll on over here because rolling is just infinitely faster. And just cruise on down over the water. And shake your legs. Shake your legs. Ye. Back in Lake Hylia. Mayor Hagen's Lakeside Cabin. 
Well, that's also near where we need to go. I believe... Where is Syrup's Hut? Oh yeah, no, it's right here. I hope I have enough money for it. Uh, I think it's only 20. If not, that's going to be very awkward. Hey, a Kinstone piece! Kinstone piece, not Kinstone P. And 60. Well, that's been it for this episode. I'll be back next time with the proper amount of rupees. So hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below about your least favorite thing that's been put behind a paywall in in-game currency, not a free-to-play game that locks progression after a certain point. I'm talking actual easy-to-get in-game money that locks you out of progression for a few minutes. Oh, hey, Heartbeats! But I will see you next time! So let's let the good times roll. So, uh, this is just continuing on from the last episode. There's a little shortcut you can get that helps you, and just trust me, get it. Anyway, see you next time!